Hello. What I'm going to do today is demonstrate how to unlock a door using a terminal. So essentially I'm expanding on what I posted yesterday. I'm just going to open Good Springs because that's where I'm going to place my door. The first thing you're going to want to do is create a terminal. Obviously. Uh, where are they? In my list here we are. Terminals. So I'm just going to choose any random terminal that already exists in the game and edit it much like I did in my last tutorial. Just give it an ID like my terminal. And I'm going to create a new item which I'm going to label uh, unlock door. Except I'm going to go back and actually spell unlock correctly. And add some result text down there. So now we're going to hit enter and yes, create new form. We're going to leave that for now and go to the doors section. So I'm going to look for any door. This is the door I usually use for things because it just looks ordinary. And drop that to the ground. Obviously I'm placing mine in the middle of a wasteland. You'll probably have somewhere that you want to put yours where it makes sense rather than just a magical floating door. So I'm now going to double click this and check persistent reference which will be important later. Head to lock and make sure the door is locked to some degree of lock. And hit OK. So then we're going to want to track down the terminal we made before. Maybe it would be useful if I put the whole ID and go my terminal and drag that out into the wastes or into wherever you want your terminal to be. So next up we're going to double click the terminal and go along to linked reference and we'll click that. And this is where the persistent reference was important because we're now going to select a reference in render window. And we'll double click the door like that and you can see our door has been selected. So hit OK and this green or yellow line should appear. So I want to double click the terminal and hit edit base. Click on the item text we created before which said unlock door. I'm going to put in the following script. We're going to write ref my link. It's not important what you choose to call for reference but that's like um, a useful thing. Set is simple. My link, the reference we defined before to get linked ref. So my link is now set to the link reference we created earlier. So I'm going to write my link dot unlock. So therefore my link, which is the link reference, which is the door, will unlock. Nice and simple. So we just hit enter and OK and that is that done. That so that should now when you click that button in game set the door from being locked to being unlocked. So that's it for the tutorial. Hopefully that was useful. Um, thank you for watching. Goodbye.